break. It's uh, early in the morning now. I'm leaving and uh, going to the next. I've never seen this one before, but um, I tasted it and tastes uh, nice. Tastes good, and, um, and I will eat it with pizza. So I'm going to meet now, guys, uh, Francesca, which is uh, a conspiracy nut like me. <laughs> So this one is a beautiful river, guys, that <laughs> I forgot the name. It must be uh, the... Uh, well, it, it's water, guys. Ah, here is it. Gre uh, Greenway del Nera. Del Nera. So, so let's go and meet these people, guys. And Can you see how cool this dog is? It, it's unbelievable. I mean, I don't love dogs, but, but this one is really cool. Now it's sleeping. It doesn't want to be bothered. Now I will show you the conspiracy nut, which is called Francesca. Here it is. Ciao. Francesca Buongiorno. was, you know. Good morning. I, I thought, you know, there would be normies like the other guy. Where is the other guy? Uh, Andrea. Now he's coming, Andrea. Andrea is the normie, the normal one. The normal one. And so Andrea is the man of the family. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea, for everything. <laughs> ok, ok. Saluto Andrea e Francesca che mi hanno aiutato moltissimo. Non so no. veramente come ringraziarmi e per tutto quello che hanno fatto. Eh, rimarrete sempre nel mio cuore. Vai. Grazie. Vai. Ciao, Vai. ragazzi. Ciao, Usually, this fruit guys has the ruolo taste of nothing. But uh, there are times where you catch a good one, maybe it's the soil or I don't know, maybe the pipe, that is very, very tasty. So, so tonight I find myself in a town called Ferentillo. This is what Ferentillo gave to me. Not bad. I thank them all. The priest was a total reptilian. Didn't want me there. Didn't help at all. But the people of the town were very very kind to help me. Especially a Romanian woman. For what I gathered she was Romanian. And so you know, there's no bed here, guys, but uh, of course I have my mattress, which really makes a difference. It's, it's the only way to sleep. So here, uh, you know, people use this place to cook also. There's a kitchen here and whatnot. So I have water, you know, I, I have the bathroom here a little bit more. So this was Ferentillo, guys, that I'm leaving now. Yeah, this is so far what I've done, you know, from Rome. And I'm uh, in this other region called Umbria now. And the problem now is that uh, I'm really deep in the mountains right now. And Ferentilo, where I was right now, was like the last kind of big town, you know, where to find a place where to sleep. And the rest of them now in the mountains are really, really small towns. So it will be really, really hard to find a place where to sleep. It's very rare to find apples at this uh, time of the year, guys. But this, this apple tree was very nice with me. Good. Awesome organic apples. So the town that I am right now, guys, as you can see, is Belvedere, which means literally a beautiful view. And indeed, it has a beautiful view. So I'm taking a break in this uh, hunting spot, guys. It's like a closed thing, you know, where, you know, hunters hunt animals, mainly birds, you know. It has this uh, tarp thing, plastic thing for the rain. And it's good, you know, to stop for a little while and uh, pass the time here just to eat something. It's very warm today, guys. As you can see, I'm really like uh, I could be without this. Also, it's very warm today, it, and it's February. So the structure looks uh, strong enough, you know, uh, to hold the hammock. So I will try it for a quick nap now, and uh, if it uh, if it works well, maybe I will consider also sleeping tonight here. Why not? This is the uh, the Italian Parliament. They are talking about 
to vaccinate all of the sheep. They want to kill us all, guys. And they are all agree on that. It's time for rice again. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, I came here in Monte Bibigo finally, and um, this is where I will sleep this night, guys. It's very rough sleep, but the guy that gave this to me, guys, was unbelievable. He took everything he could to make this uh, this thing. Uh, clean you know and uh, doable for the night so give me all this give me uh, all this bread for free and also this is the situation here guys it's a mess and then I will film it after I clean all this mess guys I mean this place must have been also to, to keep animals I don't know very rough sleep but guys this look at what the this guy did for me guys bread and also lots of all kinds of stuff mostly meat you know and fruits also and also formaggio which is uh, cheese italian cheese is very good guys so i'm letting everything in the sun and now i'll clean and show you the results so i've cleaned the room guys literally you know layers upon layers of animal feces it was something one of the hardest things i've ever done guys cleaning this thing and i and i cleaned with this guys look at this with this knife here that then broke of course unbelievable it's like cleaning your room with a, a, a toothbrush how do you say so i i made this this thing of uh, wood so that the mattress is a bit uh, uh up you know it's not touching the the thing you know the ground now was it worth it to, to to spend like two hours to clean that shit of course man i'm not an animal you know now the thing looks much more i mean of course there is shit here guys animal feces of course but it's much better than what it was before look at this old scraping inch by inch guys unbelievable so this is how it looks after I put uh, everything on, sleeping bag and uh, like a cushion. And uh, you know, I improvise a little bit here to have my radio and uh, and phone here to hold it here and the, and the power bank. And the rest is here. Good thing I didn't have to use my mattress to blow it and everything because he gave it to me. You know? It's perfect very clean uh, doesn't uh, now the room doesn't smell of nothing really it's very clean and everything and so thank you god for all this i mean the 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 thing here is creepy and everything there's a window here and a creepy door also and you know i i saw guys that, i mean here i have the view of uh, the mountains with the snow well, the zoom is, isn't perfect, but there's snow there. Anyway, and, and I was I wanted to show you guys that there's a garden here. A small garden with some lettuce. And, uh, maybe I will try something. <laughs> and, and there they said that I have water, which is good water. There is a rosmarino. It's good, you know, to catch a branch. It's good to eat it with bread and whatever pizza i usually eat this is my setting guys i'll pass the night here for free and when orlando will see this uh this place so clean he will be amazed amazed guys I mean, this is what orlando from from monte monte bibio did for me this huge bread not paid he gave me this he gave me this fruits there's cheese here guys wonderful cheese and there's lots of this uh, meat you know all kinds of junk here but it's good you know to eat when you are hungry you know with bread you know and so I really thank him for all this guys because it might seem like he just put me in this hole you know but he did so much for me man and I and I really want to capture this moments guys because for me are important there's there is good people around guys we're surrounded by morons but there are also lots of good people that can help you and unfortunately these are uh, usually people that own a business or something in these small towns 
and uh, they do not realize that uh, there's no virus they are trying to get rid of them because they don't want independent people that have resources and uh, and businesses and everything they want all communism all slavery so i found this uh, horrible place guys but uh, it has a roof over your head and i will now consider uh, if passing the night here or not if i manage to fix this and what gives me hope is this thing of um, the tower of wood and i might use this plastic thing as holders for from the ground and put two of these uh, for my bed and then a sleeping bag and everything look at this guys yeah some sort of a window here very improvised you know everything as you can see there's a bed here guys i can put my mattress over it and the sleeping bag it's very clean now you know there there were earth here guys like soil with worms and so i took it all out and now it's uh, well it's not stone it's concrete but hey it's all clean now because i found this that really helped me <laughs> and uh, now the i didn't manage to clean all the the house because uh, since the concrete was used only for half of the house the rest is is a mess guys there this is a satellite dish guys a better use for for it it was just making noise and, uh, outside the property of this guy huh? so this guy guys has um, uh, a grape uh, he has a tractor there in his garage kind of garage you know and uh, now the sun is going down guys just now and i am in a very remote area Sooner or later, I would have ended up sleeping in a garage, of course. So look at the spiders, guys. It's like full, full of spiders, creepy spiders over my head. There are some that are dancing. Look at this. And there are some that are really huge. And I'm afraid of this one. What about this one here? Nice. Nice. Let's hope this guy doesn't... Uh, uh, like the smell of uh, sweat that I'm emanating otherwise so not the best of the condition guys but I will manage you know, to put to survive me and the creepy moon over there so we'll see so this is the next day guys I just woke up and this is where I slept Fogliano Thank you for you. Thank you, God. Very crunchy. I am in this uh, abandoned village here. Only one guy lives here. I mean, he doesn't even live here. He has the sheep here. And now we'll go away. And he told me, look, this house, if you uh, see that you can uh, pass the night there, uh, go ahead. But look, there is also a church here. And look where the church is, guys. It's really, really up, up high in this uh, small village. You know, guys, I told him, listen, uh, if there is no ghosts in the church, I will sleep there. Like, jokingly, you know. But when I came here to the church, guys, look what I found. A very creepy thing. Now, if it was like this, it looks perfect. I would have slept here, even alone, only with the dogs and the sheep. But look what I was in there. There's a skull, guys. So people come here to do this satanic shit. So this uh, place must be full of demons. So I, I don't want to stay here for sure. But wait, there's more, guys. So the guy told me that uh, in front of that church there was uh, like a hole, you know. And he told me if you lift the 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 thing that covers that hole. Uh, you would find ashes of, uh, of, of dead people, like uh, bones, you know. And, and he told me that they took that uh, skull from that thing there. So imagine the demons there, guys, if I, if I slept there, you know, just by... Oh, you know, if there was a uh, skull there, I would 
never sleep in such a scary place. I mean, I, I, I was not afraid of sleeping alone in the, in the middle of nowhere here, guys. It's, it's a really beautiful view also. Very, very creepy. Uh, but uh, the fact that, you know, you see a skull there, man. Oh, man, no way. So I've never seen a fox so close. This is a dead fox. This place is really remote, guys. Huge mountains. But luckily it's all uh, downhill to the next town and uh, it's like 2 kilometers. Pompagnano is the next town. It's, it's uh, re really... It's, it's, uh, there are people there, but there are very few homes. So hopefully I will get some, uh, something there. If you are alone, it's okay for the New World Order. If you are together, it's not okay for the New World Order. If you're dead, it's okay. But the distance, people. Okay. And, and wait here, because only one at a time can enter here. Look where we are, guys. This is a school. A soluzione igienizzante. <laughs> this is Cyber Day. Uh, this was a school, but since uh, this place, you know, uh, where I am right now, is really, really uh, ab abandoned. The people are all uh, moved from these towns in the mountains, are moved to big cities. And so, even though this school was uh, used by people, uh, it's not used anymore. So they use it like, uh, like you know, to, to have part of this, uh, the, the old people at the, at the town here, or to vote, for example. You know? Really useful stuff. Look, uh, I have to thank Renzo, he's, he's the old guy that uh, did everything for me. When I came into this town, guys, when I came into this town, I mean, nobody would, uh, they would tell me, oh no, there's nothing here, no. And this was a answer, guys. This guy, uh, like, uh, found, and where can I put you, where can I put you? And then he remembered there's this school here. And so, but I had to, like, to gain his trust, because he would, I told him, look, guys, I, I do this from a long time. I never uh, steal anything, or I'm a good person, you know? And so they agreed, <laughs> and look what they, you know, they usually, uh, after they realize, as, as always, after they realize that you are uh, a good uh, person, they, <laughs> they give you food, guys, look, look at this. So this is like really, really junk food, guys, but, oops, my battery is, is gone, let's hope it's recorded. So this lady, <laughs> this old lady, this, these are salsicce, there's meat here, guys. Uh, I told her, yes, I, I'm kind of vegan still, but uh, not really. I, I, I'm eating meat uh, lately, guys, because the veganism is all a New World Order thing to, to make us eat only uh, grass. And Ranzo, this was Ranzo's, Ranzo gave me a bread and cheese. Now I'm really, you know, doing this just to show, you know, that people people uh, help and uh, that's why they want to divide us and to do all this.